What's going on guys? TJ and Ian here at the Freakopolis Geekery. We're doing something a little different tonight. Uh, we've done some character creations in the past, you and I. Oh yeah. Uh, made some cool characters for D&D 5th edition. Uh, but we thought we'd start doing a series uh, sort of based off of pop culture, comics, movie characters. Two of our favorite things, pretty much. Comic book characters and D&D. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So uh, we thought you know, it would be most appropriate uh, to start with one of the hugest superheroes in the world, uh, that is DC's Batman. Batman! Yeah, for one thing, I think it'll give us a bit of a challenge. Yeah, Batman's capable of so many different things. How exactly would you fit all his powers into a D&D universe? But we do have a little list going of what we thought we could focus in on. For sure, yeah. So, uh, before we get to that list, I'm going to let you guys know uh, we've got some limitations on tonight's uh, character creation. We're not going to make you know, a 30th level character with... Uh, you know, sort of unrealistic stats, no. I think. Um, we're going to use, we're going to basically build a character from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, but to give it some flavor, we're going to allow them to get a couple magic items, and we're going to get them up to level 5. Uh, so our Batman feels a little bit more like Batman. And truly, I don't think you can make a level 20 character straight from level 1 to 20 without playing them. I mean, maybe some people can, but damn, uh, we're going to limit it to level 5 because that's going to fit in the show. I think that's, yeah, <laughs> and that's when you start to get some, some characterization, right? At that point, you've got your 4th level, so you've got some points to put into yeah. an attribute or to get a feat. Uh, you're getting some cool uh, uh, class abilities. So I think, you know, 5th level... It'll be a uh, Batman-inspired character. Right, a D&D we'll, we'll character. We'll do our best. A D&D character that is capable of many of the same things Batman does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, to, as you said, as you mentioned, we've got a couple uh, sort of things we're trying to hit. Yep. Uh, so why don't you read these out for us? For our attributes, we're really trying to focus in on he needs to have high intelligence. He needs right, to Batman is... Uh, you know, he, he's an investigator, he's an engineer, Oh yeah. Uh, he, he, he's a graduate of, you know, uh, the hard school of Knox. <laughs> and, but yeah, high intelligence, that is really important to building Batman. Yeah, absolutely. Also, he needs to be a very competent melee expert, obviously. He's uh, taking down goons all night, every night in Gotham City, and uh, he usually does that with some good old kicks and punches. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. He doesn't, I mean, we know that's one of his huge rules, right? No guns, no killing people. Right. Uh, but he has no problem... You know, smashing their heads in with his fists. No. So, yeah, melee expert, I think, pretty key to Batman. Uh, another one of his uh, very integral skills to the Batman character is his investigation capabilities. He is a detective as well as a ninja. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are sort of the two archetypes I think we determined was, was sort of detective slash ninja. Yep. Um, so we'll try and hit those points. Uh, he also... Is a uh, stealth master, yeah. He obviously he's uh, disappearing from rooftops all the time. He's capable of uh, you know turning out the lights and then just being gone. <laughs> yeah, you know Jim Gordon uh, turns the bat signal off, turns around, Batman's gone. Yep. <laughs> or he'll, uh, if you've ever played the Arkham games, sneaking around, uh, surprising enemies. It's a huge part of Batman's toolkit. Yep. Uh, and then we get into some of the where I think the magical items will Absolutely. come into play tonight. Uh, so he has his uh, classic Batarang, a, a super important part of equipment for uh, taking down the bad guys at range. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's just no way to ignore that as part of his kit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, such a classic silhouette. He uses that, you know, for so many different purposes. We felt Batman had to have a battery, so we'll try our best to make that uh, inside the rules of D&D 5th edition. Oh yeah. And the other sort of essential part, you can see it right here. This is his utility belt, yeah. uh, from which he can pull a variety of useful items, uh, whatever works at the time, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's sort of his belt of, uh, this will come in handy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're going to try and hit uh, these six points as well as a couple others. You know, we probably will make him... A tiefling no. or something. Uh, you know, we'll get some other Batman characteristics in there, but uh, we're going to try and hit these six uh, really strong, and maybe you guys can help us if we get a little stumped. Sure. Uh, so as you guys see, we're using Roll20 tonight. Yes. Uh, because it has uh, some really great features uh, that I think will make this good for the stream. Oh, okay. yeah. Including this character sheet. Mostly. Uh, yeah, right there. Cool. So roll twenty. They added the character mancer. Are we going to use that or opt out of it to build our Batman? I think. I think we'll want to use it. It'll keep us sort of uh, on track. Super know? true. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, they added the character mancer. 
uh, if you want to get started using that tool, it's just a tool that sort of takes you step by step through character creation. Should be useful for the stream. <laughs> I think so, yeah, it'll keep us on point. All right. Uh, you just hit this next. If you don't want to do it, you can opt out. But we're going to use it. We'll hit next. All right, so first off, we know what race Batman is. Batman is definitively a human. Yeah. <laughs> Batman, he's got to be a human. This is something I didn't realize. Humans are the second to the last race alphabetically, <laughs> yeah. which is weird to think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Batman definitely human. I don't think, you know, really nothing else seems to fit quite right. No, yeah, and that's, you know, a pretty core part of his character is that he's a human among, like, demigods and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, absolutely. And mechanically, humans in D&D 5th Edition, when you create them, they get a bump to every stat. Every stat, And that's yeah. very Batman. Yeah, like, he's, he's pretty better, much good at everything. Yeah, he's, he's better... <laughs> Uh, than the average person at everything. Um, so, uh, age, I mean, that's subject to change. Sure. Depending on the Batman, I He's been many ages. <laughs> yeah. Where, where do you think we want to put him uh, this time? Oh, at fifth level, he's probably pretty experienced. I, I'd say maybe uh, 42. 42? Yeah. Right, I, I'm fine with that. Uh, now, this alignment <laughs> is definitely could be, you know, a topic of debate. Uh, so let's let's... Take that opportunity. Sure. So we have obviously the lawful side of things with uh, lawful good, lawful neutral, lawful evil. Uh, the chaotic side of things with chaotic good and uh, chaotic neutral, chaotic, chaotic evil. evil. Uh, and otherwise your neutral, neutral sides. Things. Yeah. And personally, uh, I feel that as a man who uh, strives really hard to uphold justice uh, and a guy who describes himself as a crusader, uh, that tends to be lawful good. Not to mention... Uh, he has a very strict code of ethics. Right. Yeah, he, he absolutely does. He, he follows his own sort of laws and rules and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, things he sets out and goals for himself. Yep. But uh, I think there's arguments for other things. Uh, you know, you could say he's chaotic good because he's defying the law. Right. All he's the a vigilante. Time. Yeah. Uh, he he lives by his own rules and, and does what he thinks is best for him and for his city, mm -hmm. Gotham. Um, whether you know, even if that's disobeying uh, Commissioner Gordon. Sure. Or something like yeah. That. But I think I think lawful good is probably the way to go. I think so as well because uh, particularly his never killing rule kind of sets him as lawful. Mm -hmm. uh, having a rule so strict is yeah, not a very chaotic thing. It, so yeah, absolutely. Uh, size, medium, speed, 30 feet. All that makes sense. Those speed may change, yep. but uh, yeah. Uh, language proficiencies, he can speak common or English in Gotham. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he can also speak, I mean, Batman can, through the use of technology and stuff, speak many languages. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but what do you think would be the most useful... Man, you know, you would think, if it was on the list, that he would have Thieves' Camp. That was what I was leading into as well. Because he would be capable of communicating with the underbelly. In fact, in, like, the animated series, he goes undercover a lot mm -hmm. as Bruce Wayne, as, you know, a dock worker or something, before yeah, he moves in as Batman. Uh, but it doesn't appear to be there. Is there anything else on that list you think he would really, uh, a, a Batman D&D &D character would take? Not necessarily. No. I wonder if thieves can. That's probably a proficiency, not really a. That's language. true. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll we'll keep him with the common for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think just for uh, the character's sake, we'll just leave him in common. Uh, sub race is the standard human. Standard human, <laughs> which uh, gives us. They tell you this in a kind of goofy way, but yeah, you get a bonus to every stat plus one, which is pretty awesome. Definitely. Um, so yeah, that's the first screen of our Batman. He's going to be a human, lawful good, age 42. Cool. We'll move on to we'll hit this next button, and uh, class. That's definitely, uh, you know, there, there could be a lot of uh, choices here, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think there's three main ones, though. Okay. I think uh, Rogue yep. is a natural fit. He lurks in the shadows. Uh, rogues sometimes have sort of detective types. If you want to play a detective in D&D... There's ways to do that as a rogue. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also a ninja. Yeah. You know, which we set out as sort of the first two things he, the first two archetypes. It's hard to ignore his training with Ra's al Ghul. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that, yeah, that gives him some points in Monk. Uh, what, what was your third suggestion, you think? My third suggestion was Paladin. Uh, Melee-focused, 
uh, and he has this strict code as a force of good. He does. So I think uh, Paladin also would make sense, uh, but maybe not as much as the other two. Yeah, from the eyes of D&D, where the, you know, generally the gods are super active and stuff, he may very well be a Paladin, but... Uh, adding in that we're kind of basing him off strictly the comic book universe, uh, then yeah, Monk and Rogue, uh, probably the way to go. I think so. I think, I think, uh, first level Rogue makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, that'll let us get some of those proficiencies early on that sort of guide him. So there's our Thieves Camp. There we go. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay. All right. Uh, so we have some skill proficiencies to choose. Uh, Batman is super skillful. <laughs> well, we said one of our six points, right? Is investigation. Investigation. He's got to so be. He proficient. has to be proficient with investigation. Right. But what other skills is Batman uh, particularly good at? You think? I'd say there's no ignoring his capabilities in stealth. Right. Definitely. We, that's the other. It's another point yeah. we said was uh, stealth is also key to Batman's toolkit. Um, I think. I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't want people to forget. Boom, Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman yeah. All right. Uh, next up, let's look at the list real quick. We knew those ones for certain, uh, but let's see what what else we can find in the skill list that really counts. Uh, I think uh, acrobatics or athletics are both, both strong are, choices yeah. uh, for him. Uh, insight, almost no doubt. Uh, he needs to figure out what people really mean when they're trying to convince him of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, Perception also, yeah, I mean, never a bad choice for a D&D character, but particularly for Batman. For Batman yeah. I think perception is going to have to happen. Okay. Uh, and then perception. finally, uh, either acrobatics or athletics. I or think. intimidation. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That also be one. Uh, well, as we level him up, he'll... Yeah, he'll, and when he gets his background, he'll yeah. be a couple others, uh, which we can kind of shuffle him around depending on what background we get. Sure. Uh, I think we should go with acrobatics. Yeah, that's fair. Um, for those, uh, you know, climbing things, jumping off buildings. Yeah, uh, he's definitely more known for his agility than his strength, as far as the DC universe yeah, is concerned. He, uh, I guess it's hard to compare to Superman. Mm -hmm. So uh, we also get some weapon proficiencies: simple weapons, hand crossbow, long sword, rapier, short sword. I really see. I mean. He doesn't really use swords all that much. No, he would generally be unarmed. Yeah. Which He uh, has the option of using swords in the DC universe, and, and he, he doesn't does do it. Yeah, <laughs> so, so we'll have to figure out a way to make him unhar unarmed. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, light armor. That's... I think that generally makes sense. Yeah. I mean, obviously Batman's light armor is some pretty cutting-edge stuff. Right. But he does go for mobility over defense, so... Yeah, and he's not wearing, you know, it's not an iron, it's not Iron Man. Right, wearing, yeah. Like heavy armor is key. Um, so, yeah. Finally, rogues are particularly skillful at some of the skills they choose, uh, which makes sense. And I think it's going to be those top two yep. with First investigation two. and stealth. First two we chose. And you know, I think so far, Batman makes a pretty good rogue. He does, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh but does a rogue make a good Batman? We'll find <laughs> out. All right, so abilities. Now we have some, uh, again, we've got some tough choices, I think. We yes, put we high intelligence as one of Batman's main traits. And it really is. And uh, it, it definitely is, but it's not really a rogue uh, main generally trait. Generally not, no. Uh, so, let's uh, But see. we're going to choose, I guess custom is the only choice we have in the uh, character creator. Uh, but we're going to use the standard array from... The player's hand. Yeah, but as to keep things. We could give fair. Batman, you know, like a twenty plus in pretty much all of these things. He's an incredible. Human. Yeah, he's peak human at everything. But we want to give our, ourselves some restrictions, so it's so it feels like we're making a D and D character. So let me see. I'll find us the uh, standard array real quick. All right. So the standard array is uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8 with 10 being your average human. Uh, however, for a human, that's actually 16, 15, 14, 13, 11, 9. <laughs> right, but we'll just put it, I think it will adjust that. Yep. Uh, Alright, so, uh, he's got to be in the uh, scope of the DC universe, 
<laughs> he would probably have a 10 strength. <laughs> I think that's fair, yeah. He's really not known for his strength. So, yeah. Uh, dexterity. He ends up with an 11. Right. Uh, dexterity, let's see. So we've got 15, 14, 13, 12. And 8. And 8 left. We took the sort of middle one. Uh, well, alright. So you gotta choose an order when you're doing this as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think Charisma... Uh, Batman himself <laughs> is not... I don't picture him as charismatic. No, <laughs> me neither. So he's probably gonna... I think we gotta... That's gotta be his dump stat. Yeah, yes. we just have to do <laughs> it. Because not that Batman has an 8 Charisma, but in the scope of the character we're building here... That's what we have to give him. Yeah. His, his lowest stat would be his charisma. And you can still have a low charisma and be, you know, intimidation yeah. is a charisma skill. Right? It is, but yeah. you can still be, you know, an Very expert. intimidating. Yeah, yeah, intimidation. And not to mention, uh, it even details in the Dungeon Master's Guide that you don't have to use charisma for an intimidation role. Right. He could be intimidating someone via his strength or his dexterity when he drops down right behind them and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. For sure. More options than not. So wisdom, I uh, think another sort of... Uh, we don't really have any dumps left, but... No, everything else he's going to be pretty you know, good at. Batman, I mean, as we saw in Black Mirror in the comic club, although it's Dick Grayson. So, yes. Uh, but, you know, Still Batman, Batman. Be, Or in Batman uh, number 48, the latest, second latest Batman issue uh, of Tom King's run. Sure. He... He sort of got surprised by the Joker. Or he willingly went in and, like, walked into the Joker's path. Yeah, know? I suppose there is an argument that, you know, due to his relationship with villains and stuff, he might not be so wise as yeah. one might think. Exactly. And, and therefore, that's going to take the 12. Right, that's the, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we have our 15, 8, 14, 13. 12. Uh, yeah, we're looking for a 13, 14, and 15. Yep. Uh, and... Saying yeah, thirteen in Constitution. 13 in Is he just pretty, no slouch? He's no, he's pretty tough. Two with being a human, and uh, and he takes a beating uh, pretty often. So, Definitely, uh, that that'll go in. So now the two. Uh, is yeah. he more detective or is he more ninja? Uh, is the the high point dexterity or intelligence? Oh man, it is a tough decision. But personally, I gotta say he's more of a detective. You think he's more intelligent than he is uh, dexterous? Yeah, I think it's his intelligence that has always gotten him through. So we have our 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 8. And, uh, yeah, that's how his attributes are going to start off, anyway. Right. So he's at 11 strength, not weak by any means. No. Uh, quite dexterous, which yep. will play well into the roguish nature. Uh, I think on arm strikes or dexterity, right? They can be, they yeah. Can be. They can be either. Maybe strength as well. Uh, so, you know, he'll, he'll be sitting pretty good there. Constitution, you know, he can have a couple drinks. If, sure. Batman <laughs> probably doesn't drink, but he can get, you know, he can wear... Uh, out some some Joker poison if he needs oh, to. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, intelligence, intelligence is where he's shining. Yeah, right we're now. checking off that uh, part of our, our our list. He's quite intelligent. Uh, wisdom, not not unwise. No, but you know, might falter there a little bit. And charisma, nobody really feels like they are just. Loving the bat. No, you yeah. Watching the room, I love this guy. Yeah, so. he even you know. People don't take too kindly to him. No, no even his allies. <laughs> right. To, uh, you know, sort of put him at arm's uh, distance. And I'd say that's because of his tendency to cut things short and, you know, really not listen to people. No, he's on a mission. Right. Yeah. So, that's our justification anyway. Uh, argue this in the comments if you want to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, this is our current things. If you guys have better suggestions, let us know in the comments. Sure. As we continue on... To background. She's a background for Batman. So Batman's background is murdered parents. This is undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what does that mean for D and D? They only let. They only give you acolyte unless we uh, buy some stuff. Luckily, I have a whole stack of books here. Yeah. We need to refer to anything. Yeah, for sure. All, All right. right. So um, yeah, what do you think? He's not oh, an urchin. He is not, not an artisan. He's not really a criminal, though he has criminal skills. Yeah. I don't think he's an acolyte. He went through some training with uh, Ra's al Ghul. He is not a charlatan. He's not an entertainer. Is he a folk hero? Definitely could be a folk hero. Yeah, yeah, he might very well. He's not a guild artisan. No. 
Uh, he's not a hermit. It's no, kind of he could be. That's another one we could consider. Yeah. He, he chills. Bruce Wayne chills at the manor a lot. Right, that's pretty much all he does. He has like one friend. Yeah. Uh, Alfred. Uh, <laughs> he pays him a lot of money. Is he a noble? I think that is. He is sort of Gotham nobility. He definitely is. Uh,. He's not an outlander, no, he's not. not a sage, nor a sailor or soldier. Uh, he's not an urchin. So, so we said folk hero, hermit, or nobility. Or noble. Do you guys have any uh, ideas? I think this is, might be the toughest uh, yeah, honestly, this one choice we've made yet. Pretty difficult. Uh, Just for Vault, let us know if you think he's any of those. Personally, I'm leaning towards noble, because his wealth is uh, uh, one of his main features. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, he has limitless wealth, and we don't really have that showing at this point. No. Uh, what kind of uh, abilities does a noble get? Uh, a noble gains proficiency in history and persuasion. Uh, I mean, history makes sure, a lot of sense yeah, in terms yeah. of, you know, he's investigating things in Gotham, and mm -hmm. he's able to reference a lot of stuff uh, in his own city. Persuasion fits okay. Yeah, I mean... Uh, let, let's check. What does Hermit get? Uh, Hermit gets medicine and religion. I feel like that, that does uh, not cover it. Folk hero. Folk hero. Gets. Uh, da, da, da. Animal handling and survival. Uh, so so this is where all, sort of uh, uh, D and D falls away from yeah. the, the Batman concept. But I think Noble is the closest. Keeping it in line with D and D, I think we're gonna have to take Noble. Uh, and so that leaves him, yeah, with history and persuasion. Uh, history is another thing that his intelligence stat will make good use oh, of. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's so a very strong history. You want that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Does he give you any tool proficiencies? A gaming set. <laughs> Why not? Batman plays chess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he does. Uh, oh, where am I going? Uh, gaming? Not in there? Hmm. Screen so far. Uh, dice set. Sure. Let me just do one more look through. Uh, and then the next one he gets, uh, various equipment to show off he's a noble. That, you know, that's Bruce Wayne's suit and stuff. <laughs> uh, but then he gets a position of privilege, which, uh, as the handy old player's handbook puts it, uh, thanks to your noble birth, people are inclined to think the best of you. You're welcome in high society, and people assume you have the right to be wherever you are. Uh, the common folk make every effort to accommodate you and, uh, and avoid your displeasure. Uh, and other people think of your uh, of high birth, uh, or and other people of high birth treat you as a member of the same social sphere. Uh, so the whole uh, the whole the commoners treat you very well. Not particularly Bruce Wayne nor Batman esque, but in a world where like you're farming for a fiefdom. <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna suck up to the nobility. Yeah. <laughs> I just said, uh, well, welcome uh, in high society, no well, doubt. I guess uh, we could, uh, Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, I said <laughs> Batman is, but Bruce Wayne, the alter ego, is welcomed in high society. Yeah, his class is Batman. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's welcome in high society, uh, and then uh, they're born with a very different lifestyle than most people ever experience. Uh, their personalities reflect that upbringing, such as uh, Bruce Wayne being a bit of a party boy. Uh, Noble title comes with a plethora of bonds. Uh, you know, uh, Wayne Corp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, owner of Wayne Corp. Yeah, he owns a, a big old thing. Uh, okay, cool. We'll say that for now. Uh, should we do personality traits and bond ideals and bonds and flaws? I wonder if there's any in here that uh, from the book. Yeah, that that fit what he's going with. Uh, so, number one personality trait is my elegant flattery makes everyone I feel, uh, or I talk to, feel like the most wonderful and important person in the world. No. Not Bruce Wayne. Uh, the common folk love me for my kindness and generosity. No. Uh, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> uh, no one could doubt by looking at my regal bearing that I am a cut above the unwashed masses. Uh, that's a little, that's Bruce Wayne in his... Trying to keep people off the tail of Batman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I take great. Is there any that really seem to fit? Ah. Uh, I think. I don't know. Bruce Wayne's sort of standoffish in person, but quite uh, sort of giving. Yeah. In his 
abilities, you know, he's... So I think that a personality. Sure, there's no reason we can't come up yeah. with a custom one. As far as I've seen, the player's handbook doesn't give anything that really encapsulates Bruce Wayne. <laughs> People think I can see that, but I secretly give much to the masses. Ooh. There we go. I think that's fair. Sure. Uh, and then for his ideal, I see, uh, number five is family. Uh, blood runs thicker than water. Uh, in the comic books in the recent years, there's a whole Bat family. Uh, Batman's origin revolves around his family. His family, yeah. Uh, otherwise... Is there an ideal that's, uh, like, about... Uh, noble obligation. Uh, it is my duty to protect and care for the people beneath me. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah. So... It is my duty to protect. Of course, these things are more like, like a lord than. Uh, well, yeah, and it's, it, in in general, personality traits are like RP stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I guess if you wanted to role play Bruce Wayne slash Batman, you could totally go take these. these <laughs> but you know, uh, it's fun to fill them out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> See uh, how we would be in D and D to protect and uh, care for the people beneath me. For the people. Of Gotham. <laughs> Bond. Uh, my house's alliance with another noble family. No. Nope. No. Uh, though, you know, the Falcons. <laughs> uh, most of this is uh, about family, which is, uh, he's pretty lacking in that. Right. <laughs> so I, th I think Bonds are what relate you to people in the world in general. And I think Batman's greatest bond is Gotham itself. Right, so it's sort of a reflection of the ideal. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, is there something we can come up with for a bond? Uh, this city needs me as much as I need the city or something like that? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Flaw. Uh, he's not the hero they deserve. <laughs> Alright, cool. So there's some of the uh, the background. Right, we decided on uh, Batman being a noble, just given uh, the Waynes and their history in Gotham, yeah. and some interesting personality traits that are sort of a mix between Batman and Bruce Wayne. Uh, but we'll move on to equipment. Yeah, this one's interesting. Uh... Pick your equipment. Now, I don't think we need any of these. Things. Yeah, you really, uh, you really, you would, I guess, have a hand crossbow as his grappling hook, perhaps. Uh, not really an option there. No, it's not not present. Uh, just think any kind of pack is necessary. Oh man, uh, burglar's pack. A burglar's pack would probably be close to fit, yeah, yeah the most what he fit. has. Yeah. His ropes kit. and grappling hooks and yeah, that yeah, kind exactly. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Lock picks and mm -hmm. that is very bad, Manny. Uh, the arcane is a mystery to you. Very true. Okay. He, he doesn't really deal with that stuff. So. Yeah, ten hit points. Sounds. Oh, and uh, haven't leveled up yet. Yeah, haven't leveled up to get feats. Although sometimes we'll play where you get a feat at first level. Just sure. To spice things up. But mm -hmm. uh, since we're doing a base D and D character, no feats. So here we have him. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, ten hit points. This array of uh, things we've done. So I think we've done a lot of these. High intelligence check. Yes. Melee experts. I mean, rogues are in general good at melee. The sneak attack definitely helps. Yeah, that's true. Uh, definitely the sneak attack uh, class ability from rogues. Um, but uh, we're gonna flesh that out a little bit as we level up to level five because we did say we're making a fifth level. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll keep bringing them up. Uh, stealth, or in investigation, he's an expert at it. We put uh, his expertise, his class ability. Yep, luckily rogues get to be very good at which, two particular skills. Which he'll be what? what? So plus uh, You'd be three, eight. he's at a plus ten already. Right? Yeah, yeah, plus three and then, uh, well, plus a, his proficiency would be plus right. two times four, so plus nine, uh, right, right. I think. Something, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it ends up. Uh, stealth, also an expert in that. 
Uh, unfortunately, we have not gotten the battering to the battering or the utility belt. No. Uh, but this is our base sort of. You know, we we've worked this into sort of a, uh, a mold, and now we need to really uh, sculpt it into Batman. So let's apply those changes. Cool. <laughs> See you go through. I think he's uh yeah he's already got a good amount of the stuff covered and the the batarang and the utility belt will be covered by magical items. Magic items. Yeah. Uh, now I think our main focus should be making sure he's good at uh, unarmed combat, which is Batman's primary form of fighting Definitely, the bad. Yeah, fist of cups. Not yeah. really. He's not using swords or no. or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, like you said, he has the option to use yeah, swords. Yeah, he very well could. <laughs> uh, he does not. Uh, so this is our base, guys. If you've been watching us uh, since the beginning, what do you think? about this, uh, how's it turning out so far, would you have made any different choices, let us know in the comments, uh, well this thing loads them out, some changes, yeah, and I wonder, I don't know how this levels up exactly, but uh, we might have to hit edit or something, yeah, we'll be exploring a little, yeah, we'll figure it out, uh, so we were thinking for the utility belt, uh, there is a particularly cool magic item, uh, that's appropriate for a low-level D&D character yeah. uh, called the Robe of Useful Items. Uh, you could reflavor this to a belt of useful items, but the gist of it is it's a uh, magical piece of you know clothing uh, that's covered in patches, and when you tear out those patches, uh, the item that the patch depicts appears before you. Right. Uh, sort of spawns in your hand. So such a thing as a 20-foot ladder. Uh, Batman could just rip that off and boom, he has a 20-foot ladder. Or two guard dogs or whatever, you know. Yeah. The a boat. Yeah. A <laughs> boat. The utility belt is used in, in such a kind of generic way mm -hmm. <laughs> that the, the robe of useful items would probably do pretty well to replicate that effect. Cool. So, yeah, this is the uh, reflection of the... The Batman, the first level of Batman we made, um, he's got all our attribute points. Let's see, what is he? Oh, he's at a plus seven for investigation. Plus seven, right, uh, right. Uh, is plus four to proficiency with expertise and a plus three. Oh, in, actually, uh, it doubles proficiency bonus. Yeah, not, okay, not okay. the whole thing. Right. I think that's uh, a common mistake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, but plus seven's pretty good. Uh, also, you know, he picked up persuasion. He's at a plus one, and history from being a noble. You know, I think that works out okay. It does. You know, nobility is just the closest we could get. Yeah. After looking at our options, uh, at least out of stuff from the Straight Up Player's Handbook, uh, he is a noble. <laughs> cool. So, uh, we want to level him up, because we're going to go all the way up to level 5, because that'll flesh it out uh, really nicely. I yeah. Think. So, uh, I think, do we, we don't need to do bio or info attributes. No, that uh, stuff is a little stuff. more. Yeah. Uh, maybe if we hit core? No, it's the uh, it's bio and then spells. Right, so the core is the. All right, I uh, hit the cog next to core bio spells. Nope, oh, that totally uh, brings it on down like that. Oh, you can do second class though. Uh, second class. Where do you see that? If you hit the cog and then to the left, second class barbarian. Uh, I don't see why that's our only multi-class option. <laughs> Second class. Second class is monk. monk. And he's going to actually be... Uh, how many levels in monk will he have? Total as we level him up? If we want him to get that attribute bonus, he has to take the next four levels in something in particular. Right. Uh, I don't know if he needs the attribute bonus, but... No, he doesn't very good class abilities, you know, before that as well. Definitely. So. It's a tough choice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then how do we level up his base level? <laughs> or his base class? Alright, so... Core... Monk... You will be a monk as well. Rogue one, monk one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we should be able to just edit it, right? I think so. It's gonna give me a... Not the right thing. I think you edited it right on the page. Oh, yeah, it's probably this. Alright, so, um, from Monk... I see, I see. <laughs> if I can stop clicking the wrong things. Oh, whatever. Here. There we go. Nice. Okay. From Monk.
Now, Gorn, what kind of abilities does Monk get? Uh, we've already. Uh, this will let us. We chose Monk in particular. Uh, for one, there's a uh, Way of the Shadow, which seems very Batman y. It is. Razal Ghoul is uh, absolutely a Shadow Monk. Uh, everything he yeah, does 100%. is Shadow Monk. Uh, and so, Batman's training, uh, eventually he would get those Shadow Monk capabilities, uh, potentially not as fifth level, but we'll see. But that's kind of secondary to the real reason we're going Monk. Uh, which will let uh, Batman be really proficient in using his fists yes. to take out enemies. Surrender, good evening, sir. Hope you're having a good uh, good weekend, staying cool. Absolutely. We're working on building Batman as a D&D &D character, and uh, we're just getting into leveling him up. We want the first level uh, rogue to begin. We're going to get him up to level 5 and try and hit all these points here. And hey, as we're roll. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, as a first level monk, you get martial arts. <laughs> martial arts. Uh, Batman is a pretty, uh, he's a world class martial artist. <laughs> yeah. And uh, gives you mastery of combat styles that you use unarmed strikes. Hey, that's very Batman. Uh, so you can use dexterity instead of strength for attack and damage rolls on your unarmed strikes. Uh, and monk weapons, which is super useful because we made the choice of not making this particular Batman uh, build super strong but he's pretty agile. Uh, so our unarmed strikes do a d4 plus dex at first level monk. Nice, so we will put that in as a, a new weapon yep. attack. Uh, so unarmed strike uh, attack based on dexterity. Dexterity. That'll give us some bonus. Uh, he's proficient in it. Damn it, oh, range. Range is uh, adjacent at five feet. Five feet, okay. Uh, Damage is a d4. One d4. Plus uh, dexterity. Plus dex, yeah. And that is... That is, uh, I believe, it's bludgeoning, it's bludgeoning right? yeah. And crit, uh, I mean, we'll do... It's an extra d4, right? Uh, yes, it would. Suppose it? Uh, just once. D4, I think. I think so. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, now he's uh, we've got, we're checking off that melee expert. Although it seems co sort of weak at this point. Yeah, but uh, you also get the ability uh, when you use the attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon. Uh, but he's going to be throwing fists. Is this a new feature? Uh, it's yeah, it's something that monks just innately get that isn't flurry of blows. Uh, and thanks for the the subscription surrender, much appreciated. Appreciate you, thank you very much. Uh, and when you make an attack on your turn, uh, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Uh, so he also gets uh, uh, additional strikes as a bonus action. Uh, no matter what, back in the day you had to use a key point to do a uh, flurry of blows to get more than one attack. Yeah. Uh, they just get it straight up and it's uh, pretty sweet. So is that, uh, what's that ability called? Does it give you a name or is it just under martial arts? Uh, it's just under martial arts as part so of the description, so we'll just edit that in. Yep. Cool. Uh, so, can make an unarmed attack as a... Action. And that just goes to show all of uh, Batman's monk training. I mean, he is more than capable of throwing uh, uh, many punches in the, a short span of time. He that's clears true. rooms pretty quick, and that's the martial arts. Uh, cool. So next up, uh, you have your key uh, starting at second level. So we'll have to determine where our next levels are going. Do they get proficiencies and things from... Yes, they get, uh, I, I don't think anything that rogues don't already have. Uh, simple weapons and short swords. Oh, but skills, he oh. doesn't pick up uh, uh, one of those? If you multi-class, uh, I don't know if you pick up the skills that, uh, your new class gets. I'll have to check. I thought that you just took their features. I think you're right. Uh, but I'll make sure of that. And, uh, in the meantime, consider what, uh... Where his next level is going. Multi class one in rogue, one in monk, because it gives him a lot of very Batman capabilities. Yeah, <laughs> that, that hits a lot of the bases. Uh, I think these four, first four sort of character uh, attributes have been sort of checked off at this point. Oh, yeah. Uh, we gave him a high intelligence of 16. Uh, that's pretty much the highest a human can get at level one with uh, the standard array. He's now a melee expert thanks to his one level in Monk. 
Uh, and we know he's very good at investigation and stealth, thanks to his expertise as a rogue. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, both of these are solid choices. You know, the, the path splits in two ways, but yeah. they both sort of end up at the same place, I think. Uh, I'm having a tough time finding it, so let's just treat it as yeah. uh, grabbing the, the bonus stuff, and, and we'll worry about skills and stuff later. Uh, so, if we throw another uh, into Monk, we get our key. I think that makes sense. I don't think Batman, you know, he doesn't state that he's drawing from a well of key, but... No, he, he definitely he, does, though. Yeah, he has that focus. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And so I think he's pretty uh, uh, pretty appropriate for Batman. So, uh, your training allows you to harness the mystic energy of key. Uh, it's a key training? Key points? What's the word there? Uh, key points. Yeah, there's points. Uh, and that is obviously not a racial, it's a class feature. And Monk, too. Uh, so, at uh, that level... You get a uh, two key points, <laughs> nice and simple, uh, at second level. I wonder. Yeah, I think roll twenty just uses this, huh? They have a the key ability, this, or yeah. flurry of blows in the spells. Yeah, we can find out. No, no, sort of uh, not throwing monks any bones there. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we'll just. So you have here. two key points that you can spend on. Uh, two key points per, what's it, short rest, long rest? Uh, po -po -po. It is unavailable until you finish a short or long rest. Uh, per short rest. Say that. Sure. Okay. And, and we don't have to fill this out now, I don't think, but key points can be used to do different martial abilities. Yeah, yeah, really pretty fantastical stuff that Batman has been shown to be quite capable of, like Flurry of Blows, where instead of making one uh, extra unarmed attack, you get two. Uh, same kind of deal. Uh... Patient defense, where he, uh, you know, puts up his fists and uh, covers his face and dodges about, and uh, step of the wind, which allows you to uh, disengage or dash as a bonus action. Uh, in other words, he can run really damn fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me adjust the level now that we're monk level two. Now here's a uh, a pretty cool ability that monks get uh, as well for second level. Uh, they get unarmored movement. Starting at second level, uh, your speed increases by 10 feet if you're not wearing armor. No, no, no. Does, Batman does Batman wear take armor? Of that? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he does. No, I feel like. Uh, I think he takes more advantage of the rogue abilities to uh, dash and yeah. use, uh, cunning action. Which, which he doesn't get to level 2, does he? No, so we should probably dip into that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so two levels in monk and three in rogue is how our. Uh, or so fifth level Batman plus ten feet if on armor. Yes. Okay. Uh, no. Oh shift. <laughs> plus ten. Cool. Okay. Uh, so you want me to jump to rogue so we can throw another level in there? I think or? so. I think that cunning action is really key to rogue. It is. It is. And especially Batman. You know when when Jim Gordon shuts that uh, that bat signal off and turns around. Batman at that point has disengaged from Jim Gordon. Yeah, as a free action, and it's uh, yeah, it's so integral to kind of the narrative that Batman puts off. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, that is what you get for second level uh, cunning action, uh, as far as rogues are concerned. Uh, Let me see. How did I add another level of rogue? I know how to add another level of a multi class. Yeah. Uh, can you just edit it up, up above? Uh, we oh. there we go. Two. Level two. Nice. Cool. So they just treat multi-class in a little weird here. <laughs> Rogue two. All right. So yeah, he gets that. Uh, he gets cunning action. Gets cunning action. Uh, which your quick thinking and agility allow you to move or act more quickly. Uh, you can take a bonus action on each of your turns in combat. This action can be used to take the dash, disengage, or hide action. So as a free action or a bonus? Bonus. As a bonus action, Batman may take the dash, dash, disengage, or hide. Uh, which, yeah, that, he does this constantly. Uh, he, he disengages by 
diving out of windows. He yeah, or, or you know, jumping up into the vent or something. Yeah, he, he hides in shadows and you know any any shadowy warehouse. He could be in any of those corners. Like, right, that's exactly and he makes it from one side of a warehouse to another in a like blink of an eye. Yeah, yeah. so and that's the dash. So yeah, I think cutting action uh, very integral. Absolutely, to building a Batman. Finally. Uh, we have our last level to put in. We do. We won't be able to get those feats or attribute abilities, but as he levels up... He uh, would. Yeah, yeah, he would, definitely. Uh, and honestly... I mean, this is where we're going to pick either ways, uh, a monastic tradition, or uh, what's the school of rogue oh, path? Yeah. Inquisitive uh, would be the one that I was feeling. Right, archetype. Rogue uh, yes, archetype. roguish yeah. archetype, they call it, yeah. Yeah, uh, so this is definitely, you know, it comes back to that debate we've been having all night... Uh, is he more of a ninja or a detective? Or is he more of a detective? No, I mean, it's detective comics. It is. Uh, but it's also D&D. That's true. <laughs> it absolutely is. Which detectives and... <laughs> monk. monk. You think so? You think Monk? You look at the special features that they can... All right, the way yeah. of the shadow. I will yeah, yeah. Flip it, which it means he can hide in shadows and stuff, which is definitely what he does. Ninja goes S Rano roll, and uh, so that's sort of the monk side of things. We'll go with it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he he, without being a sort of uh, inquisitor, which is a subclass that came out in Xanathar's Guide to Everything, uh, he's still very very. Uh, you know, he's an expert in investigation. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's super skilled in those things. Uh, without taking the subclass. But just as far as fifth level's concerned, we're going to give him Way of the Shadows. Uh, so, yeah, his monastic tradition. Uh, when you reach third level, you can commit yourself to a monastic tradition, uh, the Way of the Shadow. Uh, and I'll flip on over there. Uh, monks of the Way of the Shadow follow a tradition that values stealth and subterfuge. Check. That is Batman. <laughs> Uh, these monks may be called ninjas or shadow dancers. They serve as spies and assassins. Not necessarily, but it is still Batman's skill set. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So you get the ability Shadow Arts. Uh, it is a key ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a key ability. So uh, uh, from Way of the Shadow, let's see. What is it, Shadow Arts? Shadow Arts. Uh, so starting when you choose this uh, tradition at third level, you can use your key to duplicate the effects of certain spells. Uh, that's pretty awesome. As an action, uh, you can spend two key points to cast Darkness, Dark Vision, Pass Without Trace, or Silence. You know, I think that's a little bit of, like, smoke bombs. It exactly yeah. is. Uh, yeah, Darkness is a smoke bomb. Yeah. Uh, dark Vision is Night Vision Goggles. Pass Without Trace is just straight up Batman never hitting the ground. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Silence... Uh, Batman's pretty good at silencing people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So, that's good, because we didn't put, like, Night Vision goggles or some of his other gadgets or things he's really known for uh, in our, our sort of attribute list, but this definitely fleshes out a lot of Batman-esque Yeah, abilities. yeah, it, it, it makes it so that we don't have to worry so much about uh, his gear uh, covering his abilities. Instead, his class innately takes care of that. So, uh, do you need that list of spells again? Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just leave it as is. For the sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we get Shadow Arts, you get to cast some awesome, very Batman-esque spells. Uh, so that makes our Batman now 5th level. Uh, you also, one other thing for 3rd okay. level, yep, yep. Uh, you get deflect missiles. Uh, sure, Batman could catch an arrow. That is not without the realm of, uh, of his capabilities, so... Uh, yeah, we don't have to go into too much detail on the mechanics of that skill, but just know... Uh, as a third level monk, Batman would be capable of throwing an arrow right back at you. Which I think is fair. Alright, so yeah, that gets Batman up to fifth level. That was one of our goals tonight. Uh, we went with Rogue 2, which allows us to... Uh, he gets expertise in some of these attributes that we felt to be so uh, key to Batman, as well as uh, sneak attacks, very important. Thieves can't. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, cunning action. Those yes. are all very key Batman things, I think. Uh, can you post the character sheet on Facebook or something after? Yeah, we'll either post it, we'll probably post it to freakalpas.com, and then you guys can check it out there, and, uh... I'm sure this will end up on YouTube as well. It will end up on YouTube, 
And you might see us, we've thought about doing some sort of battle royale from these pop culture cre- characters or something. Part so of the reason down the road. why we're limiting it to fifth level is because if we wanted them to fight each other, it'd have yeah. to be kind of fair. Right, we have <laughs> to put some limitations that we're going to use on all of these pop culture characters. So, uh, so yeah, and then, uh, so we got some great abilities from two levels of rogue, but that seems like enough to fill out his roguish part. But... Uh, Monk gave him uh, that melee expert. Yeah, he doesn't need to use weapons, uh, which Batman really doesn't. So, no. And it also gave him uh, some really great stealthy, sort of uh, tertiary Batman type things. How many hit points do you have? Yeah, he's going to have definitely more than ten. Yes. Uh, so, uh, he'll roll a d8 for... Uh, for I think he's going to roll a d8 for being a rogue, and he's going to roll... Uh, a D8 per monk. So he's going to be getting 10 every level. Uh, so if we just say he gets max, he's got 50 hit points. Nice and simple. Or we could roll him up yeah. if you want. That sounds good. 50. And then his armor class. 50 uh, and armor. Yeah, we didn't really talk about equipment and armor yet. No, so technically, uh, he standardly wears leather armor from his rogue starting, uh, mm-hmm. from getting a level 1 in rogue. Uh, he, which can do, he can do better, though, with his monk. Uh, yeah, he may very well do better completely unarmored because he would get his wisdom, wisdom bonus. bonus. As, uh, so leather armor gives you an 11 to start off with, plus your dexterity bonus. Which brings him to 13, which he's at now. Uh, since he's a monk, though, we could get him a little higher because it'll be... Uh, I think it would Actually, be, it'll be even, right? Yeah, so, so it'll be he's, even. he's just as good without the armor, but what he does get is a bonus to speed uh, if he were to not wear it. Uh, mechanically, this makes sense for his character... Conceptually, Batman kind of wears armor, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, wears at the very least leather armor. Yeah, uh, you know, it's not a super heavy suit, no, but it no. does protect him from some slashing and stuff. You know, uh, cool. So yeah, I mean, this is not really particularly optimized. Uh, he's a rogue and monk with uh, sixteen intelligence, <laughs> uh, but I think it would play like Batman were you to want to role play him. Yeah, uh, but we're still missing two. Of these key attributes we talked about earlier, setting out as goals to accomplish for ourselves, and that is the Batarang oh, yeah. and the Utility Belt. Uh, so what are you thinking for the Batarang? You know, I mean, there's throwing stars in... Yeah, yeah, in and there's DVD, darts right? and stuff that definitely kind of fulfills the role of a light thrown ranged weapon. Right. It's more like a thrown axe. Yeah, 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 it is more like a thrown axe, I think. Yeah, it's but got a bit more weight to of it. Of course, that doesn't really fit the orang part. Right. <laughs> the, the, the kind of implication is that it returns to you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And so you would probably want uh, potentially a throwing axe of returning. Right. Uh, or a magic item that permits the weapon, once thrown, uh, to return to the wielder. Uh, not always do they do this. You know, Batman has a tendency to... Uh, uh, stick a camera on one and then throw it in a corner, or stick explosives sure, on yeah, it, or open a door with it, or whatever. But, but as far as the orang part goes, uh, you kind of need it to return. Uh, and so, I don't like the way Roll Twenty gives you this as an option, really. But uh, okay, there we go. Tags or over time reading. prop, prop. Uh, well, we'll say uh, hammer, uh, or rather, axe of... Well, we can just call it the Batarang. Sure! But statistically, you know, as far as the mechanics are, are concerned, it is a uh, axe of returning, a throwing axe of returning. Yeah. Uh, which would use uh, his dexterity mod when thrown, uh, as all light thrown weapons do. Uh, and it would do a d4 of damage plus dexterity, uh, which is... I mean, that's pretty nice. It's uh, it's just something that's so Batman. <laughs> yeah. All right, let, let, let's get that. Uh, so it's a dexterity weapon. Yep. He's proficient in throwing axes, probably. Uh, it's simple, I think. Simple weapon? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got to be. Uh, and so the range is generally 20 on thrown weapons. Uh, 20 feet. Magic bonus? Oh, man, I'd say it's a plus one. I mean... Yeah, I think it's batteries are plus one weapons. Yeah. Uh, damage. damage is a d4. Uh, d4? Uh, as, yeah, light thrown weapons tend to be. I think that's slashing, right? Yes, it would. Uh, and it's plus uh, dexterity on the damage up there. No, that's true. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a accuracy-esque thing than a how hard can you throw it. Oh, okay. So the description goes in sort of the attack. Oh, but that's probably when you roll. Yeah, yeah, it will give it. Yep. Uh, Batman 
Batman throws his bat. Orang. Orang. <laughs> cool. So, uh, you know, not a super high uh, powered magic item. No. But he's probably got a few of these, you know, he's definitely bringing out uh, a bunch of them, but some of them come back to him, some of them probably get destroyed. Yeah, and returning weapons can be used really creatively anyway. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, so that's cool. So that gives him his battering. Uh, and finally, he finally needs, needs his utility belt. Which is. You can see a, it right here. Uh, uh, he wears it all the time. Robe of useful items is what we determined would fulfill that. It doesn't necessarily have to be a robe if you don't want it to be. And I will find exactly where that's hiding in the good old Dungeon Master's Guide. I have a bunch of books here. Oh, R5. <laughs> He's got five. There we go. Okay. I have all the various robes. Robe of useful items. It's wondrous. Uh, this robe has cloth patches of various shapes and colors covering it. Uh, when wearing the robe, you can use an action to detach one of the patches, causing it to become the object or creature it represents. Uh, not exactly as Batman's utility belt works, but the D&D &D equivalent. Yeah. Uh, so the robe has two of each of the following. Alright, so, uh, two of each of the following. Oh, I should say, I don't want to call it robe of useful items. I'll call it utility belt. Sure, yeah. But we're using the robe of useful items as... As his utility belt, yes. Uh, so, two of each of the following... Uh, being uh, two daggers, uh, bullseye lantern filled and lit. It's dark in here. Pull out a lantern. <laughs> a steel mirror. Huh. It's kind of cool. Hemp and rope. <laughs> he's always going to need rope. Yeah, he's definitely going to need rope. And a sack. A sack, huh? Just in case. You, you want to see what else could potentially be in there? I think we should roll it. All right, uh, I'll go grab some D4s. Uh, okay, so we'll be right back. Uh, yeah, and this is our sort of final piece of our Batman puzzle. Uh, we're going to try and do this on Saturday nights. We're going to try and make different uh, pop culture characters each night, some from comics, from movies, uh, as D&D &D characters. This is the best to our ability within the limitations of, like, making a real playable D&D &D character. So... Hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, we're almost done here, but we're gonna find out what Batman carries on his uh, his utility belt uh, as rolled up items. Yeah, with a little bit of random. Although he, he, you know, he would never just be like, "I wonder what's in my utility belt." Oh, I need a D100 as well. But roll that and tell me uh, the three of them uh, and another one. So 44. Let's see, four, eight, nine. Nine. You have nine extra patches. He has nine extra patches. Oh, so one of the following of each. Yep. One of each of the following. And then, good old D100. Here you go. Okay. Let's see what he gets. A 23. A 23. Uh, 23 is uh, 10 gems worth 100 gold each. <laughs> I suppose so. He's got money in the utility belt. Yeah. Don't, don't fool yourself. A Fifty-seven. <laughs> this one's very D and D. It's a pit. <laughs> a ten-foot cube pit. I don't know how we work that into the Batman fiction. Uh, it's really strong acid that dissolves the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose or you could call it sort of explosives. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, <laughs> All right so a <laughs> ten-foot pit. A ten-foot pit. Sixty-one. A rowboat. <laughs> nice. He definitely He's got his yeah. bat boat. <laughs> the bat boat is ready to go. Uh, a ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. <laughs> a portable ram. <laughs> yeah, I think that makes sense. Sure, Batman could uh, you know, pull out some piece of technology, strap it into to, yeah, blow down buildings? doors yeah. and stuff. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. More gold. More what? gems. I bet. Yes, it is. He yeah, has, uh, has 2,000 gold in his utility One, belt. <laughs> uh, uh, he has also an iron door. I think that also makes sense. It kind of does. I mean, you know, he could uh, 
It's like his, uh, yeah, his, yeah, his, his general spray concrete, concrete sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. There's ways to justify yeah. each of these things. He definitely can have anything, pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 75 is uh, the spell scroll containing one spell of third level. Alright, well, spell scroll, we'll figure that out later. Sure. Third level. Door could be shield like. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh, 13. Oh, 13. Yep. A riding horse. <laughs> the Batmobile. Yeah, the Bat horse. How many do we have? Yeah, how many? Uh, I gotta expand this. Okay. Uh, one of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got one more to, to roll one up. One more to roll up. Uh, a 68. <laughs> Which is uh, four potions of healing. Okay. That also makes sense. He, he's got, you know, spray on stim packs and yeah, stuff. Yeah, he would like, definitely bring something to be ready to So he's away. a pretty well prepared Batman. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I probably, sh you know, I could justify by this by saying, you know, all of these things could sort of be in his inventory, but we'll just leave it as. As part of the robe. Yeah. All right. The or utility belt. Utility belt, right. Uh, which there's no reason it couldn't be. DD lets you reflavor stuff For like sure. that. So that is our uh, Freakopolis' Batman. Yeah. Freakopolis is DC's Batman. <laughs> this <laughs> the is a fifth level D and D character. This is pretty cool. I had fun making him, and I think we hit all the marks. We did. We definitely got that high intelligence. It's his highest stat. Melee expert. Uh, a monk brings that sort of intuitively. Mm -hmm. uh, investigation, investigation and stealth. We hit straight from the get go. He was an expert at yeah, those. He was an expert. And we built out, I think, a reasonable batarang as a returnable throwing axe. Yep. And a pretty sweet utility belt using an item from the DM's guide called... Uh, the Robe of Useful Items. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so the Patch of Many Things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. So we'll put this up on uh, probably freakopolis.com. This VOD will be going up on YouTube. Yeah. And we will uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining us. Hope you had fun. Catch you Stay later. Stay cool. <laughs>